Your theoretical position reflects a set of philosophical assumptions that shape your research. Your position reflects your view of the social world. It shapes what you think can be the subject of research, what is legitimate for inquiry. The form of your research question, your methodological approach and the methods that you use in your research. Researchers position themselves in relation to ontology, that is the nature of the social world, epistemology, the nature of knowledge, methodology, the approach taken in researching your topic, and in relation to methods, the tools uh, that you adopt to collect and analyse data. This short video tutorial will guide you through these positions. Ontology refers to the nature of being or social reality. As a researcher, you will have an ontological position which describes the assumptions you have about the social world and the ways in which you think about social phenomena and the relationships between these phenomena. Your ontological position, therefore, will sit somewhere on a spectrum between realism, the world as an external reality independent of individual consciousness, or constructivism, there is no one reality but multiple realities. So, in determining your ontological position, you need to ask the following questions. What is social reality? What is the nature and form of the social world? So, your response to these questions might reveal that you assume the social world to be external to individuals. It is an objective reality. Thereby situating yourself towards the left-hand side of our ontological dimension arrow. However, you might assume that the social world is a product or construction of individuals' consciousness, a subjective or constructed reality, thereby positioning yourself with constructivism. The second assumption relates to epistemology, that is, your position on the nature of knowledge. Your epistemological position makes assumptions about the relationship of knowledge to your ontology. A simple question would be to ask, how do we know what we know? Your answer to this question reveals your assumptions about what you think knowledge is, what is evidence, what we should accept as valid, as valid knowledge about the social world. Your epistemological position will be situated between positivism and interpretivism. So if you think the world is an external reality and you have a realist ontology, your epistemological position would be an assumption about the relationship of knowledge to that reality. A claim either corresponds with reality, it is true, or it doesn't correspond with reality. The claim is false. Knowledge about the social world is directly obtainable through observation and measurement. You may hear social scientists discussing beliefs about a unity of methods, meaning that the methods of the natural and physical sciences are applicable to understanding the social world. However, if your ontological position is situated more towards constructivism, your epistem epistemology is more likely to be interpretive. This position assumes that direct knowledge about the social world is not possible. There may be many truths and reality can multiply. However, this doesn't mean that any interpretation of the social world is possible. It doesn't mean anything goes. Researchers still care about evidence relating to the social world. The theories you use and the evidence you use are important and will limit the claims that you can make about the social world. A methodological position relates to your approach to logic and therefore is directly linked to your research design. The dimension here shows how your methodological position is related to both your ontological and epistemological positions. So, if your assumptions are realist and you have a positivist view on knowledge, 
the methodology you adopt may involve a nomothetic approach where you seek to identify laws or causal relationships about social phenomena. Or it might take an experimental approach in trying to prove a hypothesis. On the other hand, if you are aligning yourself with the constructivist ontology and uh, have an interpretivist position regarding epistemology, your methodological position is much more likely to be ideographic, meaning that it comes from the individual. So taking this position means you are likely to focus more on understanding known in social uh, research discourses as Verstein, as discussed by Max Weber. Finally, the positions you take in the previous steps will all shape the methods that you use. It is easy to conflate methodology and methods, but there is a clear distinction. Methodology refers to the approach you adopt, rather, while the methods are the tools that you employ to collect and analyse the data. Of course, your methodology will inform the methods that you adopt. While methods might appear to be associated with ontological and epistemological assumptions, they are not bound by them, and the methods will relate closely to your research question and the form and availability of the data that you are seeking to collect and analyse.